Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Captain Carrie here. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Brandon. I'm a recreational fisherman and a charter guide here along the Alabama Gulf Coast. Out here on the sea hunt today, just got off night shift, so I figured I'd come out here and fish for a few hours while it's nice and pretty. It's like 73 degrees out here. It's just gorgeous conditions. Y'all check out what we got in the boat already. Nice little flatty patty right there just i can't even see my hook just absolutely inhaled the fish bites brawler uh yeah it's it's gone so i'm probably gonna have to do surgery on this guy right here but i'm targeting the mouth of this bayou here got the channel coming out in the middle got a little marsh bank here slow drop off through that brawler right there and i actually thought i was hung up on a rock but it wasn't a rock, it was a flounder. So we're gonna get the hook out of this guy right here, continue fishing, hopefully we can land a few more. Then I'll also have some crabs. Y'all know I got the crabs. I had to catch some this morning, just in case we wanna go catch some sheep's head. But uh, y'all stay tuned, let's have some fun and get to it. All right, so I managed to get my lure out. That's it right there, that is the five inch fish bites brawler. I've got that paired up with a um, ice strike, quarter ounce jig head, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader tied with a loop knot and i am throwing my fenwick seven foot medium light action rod with a 3000 shimano ultega reel 15 pound braid and we're going to go ahead and get another cast out here and hopefully recreate what we just did a while ago i've been working along this bank here this was about my third or fourth cast and uh this flounder was actually a little bit deeper out here just kind of doing a a bump up let it fall down just like so and I'm waiting on my line to stop I do have my Minn Kota troll motor on the spot lock here hold me right where I need to be can't live without the troll motors these days I'm so spoiled since I don't have power poles this is the next best thing but as y'all can see I'm working my lure parallel with this bank here versus casting to the bank and working to me I'm getting to cover more of the strike zone casting this way there it is my line stopped feel the weight yep oh yeah fish on another flounder oh He's staying down. Let's loosen that drag a little bit. Ooh. Oh, he just pulled it. <sighs> Golly, y'all, that was a good dang fish too. Only bad thing about these large baits, I didn't let them have it long enough. I should probably put on a longer shank hook. Man, that was a good fish. I cannot believe I just lost that fish. God. So if you're kind of new to flounder fishing and uh, you feel that thump, give it a few seconds. Don't do what I just did right there because a lot of times them fish will come up, they'll grab the back end of that lure and then they'll swim off with it. Or sometimes they will eat it and you can hook them. But the majority of the time, they're not gonna spit that bait out. Once they spend the effort grabbing that bait, they've got it. So you're not gonna hurt to give it a few seconds before you set the hook. That might be him. I got weight. I haven't felt, there he is. Yep, he's on. It's about five or six seconds so far. Let's see. Are we ready to set the hook? I ain't feeling, there he is, yep. He's on. Mm-hmm. Gave that fish about seven seconds before I set the hook, which he's kind of small. It's still a flounder though. Oh, oh my gosh. I got the net. I'm trying to flip him in the boat. <laughs> oh yeah. Another nice fish. He's probably about 16. Nice. Beautiful fish. I just want to take some pictures. Yep, 16, 16 and a half. Fish bites brawler right there in the bottom half of his mouth there. 
So here in Alabama, 14 inches to the end of the tail is all it has to be to be legal. Right here is a nice little 16 and a half inch flounder. Great eating fish right here. Perfect hook set. Beautiful fish. Don't get much better than this right here. So right now, at the time of making this video, it's around mid-October and um, trying to take advantage of keeping a few flounder because next month, November, the whole month, uh, Alabama has a closure on these fish. And the reason for that is because the females tend to migrate offshore to spawn and they want to try and save those fish from being caught and eat to go offshore and make more flounder for us. And uh, I don't know if it's that uh, on top of the new limits that we have. It used to be 10 per person, now it's five per person and they also up the size. But the flounder population has just uh, exploded tremendously. It's just been a great year. Even last year was pretty good. But um, I've been fishing for a long time and this is the best I've ever seen, you know, flounder fishing. Not very often I can come out here and say I'm going to catch my limit of flounder and it actually happened. But uh, I've done it numerous times this year and I know multiple other people that have. And so the reason I mention that is because this month and next month is the perfect time if you want to catch a really big flounder. Your chances are very high because these big fish are moving, getting ready to move offshore and uh, there's no better place than the mouth of rivers and creeks on a fallen tide. Oh, that was a thump. He's on. I'm gonna let him, let him eat it. Come on. It's a big bait. Gotta swallow it. Got him. This one's not quite as big either. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Smallest flounder I've caught in a minute. <laughs> wow. The bait's just about as big as him. Look at that right there. <laughs> That's probably about a eight inch flounder right there. Five inch bait. Don't be scared to throw big baits. Grow up for us. Another small one. <laughs> Get on out here. Look at that, easy release. What's up? First two fish were nice size, then everything after that has been small. Take it. Another small one, jeez. That's like four in a row. I'm in the nursery. All right guys, we got a good trout on. Switched up gears here. Man, that's a good trout. Dang, I think he swallowed the hook too. Oh no, I was gonna release this, this guy. Oh girl, she ain't gonna make it though. Pretty fish right there. Fortunately, this trout swallowed the hook. So we're gonna see if we can get it out, throw her in the box. We'll eat you up tonight. All right, big crab for a big sheep. Big old claw, I'll leave the claw on there. Let's see if we didn't spook that fish. He was right up under this cage here. A decent size one too. I don't see him, but we're gonna make a blind cast. Maybe he'll come to it. Oh, he's chasing it. He just chased it. He grabbed it. <laughs> that was cool. Come on. Oh, that ain't the same one I've seen. That's a smaller one. How cool is that, though? Almost sight casting them. I'm not going to keep any sheep's head today. I'm going to do a little fun fishing. <clears throat> Would be a nice keeper though. Heck yeah. I watched him come up and eat that crab. One gulp, that was all she wrote. Give me my hook back, I'm gonna let you go, I promise. Pretty little sight casted sheep head right there. Probably sitting at about 15, 16 inches. We're gonna let him go. Let's get a no. All right, this looks juicy. Got some PVC pipe with some barnacles growing on them. 
gets to be some sheeps hanging around this stuff. It's going to be fun if I hook one, trying to get him out of this. There he is. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a good fish. Oh. Dang, that's a good fish. I didn't see this one. Oh no. That's painful. Just losing all the big fish today. Man, that was a 20 inch sheep all day. Man, that was a fat one. Oh, I see one on the other side over there. There's no way I can catch that one though. This is where a cane pole would come in handy. I'm gonna bring my cane pole back out here. All right, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. It was a beautiful day out here. We had some fish chewing, caught some, lost some as well, but that's the way it goes. At least it was catching and not fishing. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Please leave me a thumbs up if you did. We'll see you back out in the water next time.